from the author of Spinsterella, a strange and unusual romance, comes Spellbound, a darker shade of black. Get Spellbound this Halloween in paperback and ebook at online booksellers everywhere. One of my viewers requested that I make a video discussing the issue of controlling female family members. Now, their situation is quite similar to another female viewer I had a couple of weeks ago who wanted to know how to deal with hood rats. Now, when it comes down to family members who are controlling, like single mothers and a th female authority figures such as older females, such as grandmothers and aunts, you have to understand the time period a lot of these females have come from. Now, when it comes down to a lot of these older females who are in their 60s, 70s, and even their 80s, a lot of them came up in the 1960s during the feminist movement. And a lot of these women, they learned how to become domineering and controlling because they imbibed concepts from white feminism. And they want to try to be, what, as I said in the previous video about the, the how to deal with hood rats in home, the queen bee. And they want to be the center of attention. They want to be the leader. They want to be the authority figure. And they want their view to be the only view regarding things. Now, you as an adult have to understand that you are going to be growing up and changing. This person pretty much is old and set in their way. So, in order to deal with them, you just have to start making plans to move ahead in your life. And you have to start doing things like saving your money and working towards getting your own place and getting your own space because when it comes down to these type of females they want to dominate they want to control they want to be the only ones in charge and the only way to deal with them is pretty much to leave you cannot stay in that situation I mean you can keep your distance from them if you have to live with them but you have to start making efforts to get yourself out of that situation because when it comes down to these domineering and controlling females, um, you have to leave them because that's what a lot of people do because they just don't want to deal with them because they realize that this person is what they're trying to do is form codependent relationship with you. And what they want to do is attach that emotional hose to you. So they do things like being emotionally abusive and saying all sorts of angry things to you and trying to make you feel like you are less than but you have to understand that you have a value as a person you have a value as a man or a woman you have a sense of you have to get discover your own self-worth because this person gets their power by tearing you down they don't want to see you built up because they are insecure in themselves and they fear someone having power especially power over them so they want to make efforts to maintain power over you and as you grow in power you're going to see this person getting more and more upset because they fear having to deal with someone on an equal level they love dealing with people who are beneath them and they love seeing people submit to them they don't like dealing with people who they feel are coming up and when people start coming up and they start appearing to come break free of their codependent relationship that's when they start threatening them this is when many of these females will start doing things like just trying to destroy your property or they'll try to call the police on you or they'll threaten to call the police on you or they'll even just tell you to get out and again that's all about them trying to maintain a sense of power and control over you because this is what the domineering female tries to do she wants to be the one in charge she wants to be the one in power the queen bee wants to dictate to everyone and have everybody living on her terms and if you don't do things by her way then it's the highway. But the highway is the best place to be because then you can set things on your own terms. But what you have to do, again, is focus on what you want to do in life, what direction you want to go in, and what goals you want to set. Because um, being around this type of person, again, is only going to be temporary. Because if you have a plan, you can pretty much move past this person and start moving your life forward. And in order to do that, you have to get yourself a nice job, start saving your money, even if it's a small job. Just stay there and save your money, pool your money together, and start working towards getting that a deposit on the apartment. In the meantime, you just be polite to them, maintain your distance, and focus on what you want to do. If this person says something nasty to you, 
just brush it off and keep focusing on what you want to do because your goal is to move past this toxic person because when it comes down to toxic people like this who want to be the queen bee, who want to be the boss over people, you have to understand they the reason why they want to be in control of people is because they're not in control of themselves and because they're not in control of themselves they need to dominate others. They really don't have any power except what you give them over you and if you start making efforts to move past them then you're going to be, then they're going to feel bad because they're going to be stuck being miserable in their own company and when it comes down to their company nobody wants to be around them because they radiate so much negative energy that negative energy is what makes people really not want anything to do with them because when you look at this female who is like this who's domineering and controlling they don't have many friends and the reason why they don't have many friends is because they wind up turning off so many people because of the way they are their demeanor their attitude they radiate negative energy and people don't want to be around negative energy you have to start surrounding yourself with positive people who have positive energy and you have to start making plans for where you want to go in life because your situation with this person is only going to be temporary as an adult you have the power to move yourself to wherever you want to go and be in the place you feel comfortable with and that's part of moving yourself forward you have to understand that you know you don't have to stay with these with these type of relatives and these type of people yes they may be family but if they're toxic people you want to try to limit your time with them and then start making plans to be around the type of people who will improve the quality of life for you and will be you know a joy to be around because life is too short to be around negative people and let them have control over you and control over your life um, time is precious and every second you spend with a negative person is time you could be spending working towards your goals and working towards doing more positive things in your life so what you want to do is you want to start saving your money and working towards getting your own place you really want to start keeping your distance from this person be polite to them be kind to them and then as you start laying that platform you can start making the t the, the plan to make dis put distance between yourself and them you love them you care about them but you have to care about you more than anything and you have to understand that your value as a person is not defined by them it is defined by you and you have to find enough value in yourself to start making those serious steps towards moving your life in the direction you want it to go in not be under this person and going nowhere fast that's all i have to say for this video you can comment rate and subscribe